what's up guys so today this is going to be another quick one um today's topic is why you shouldn't leave with your wallet when searching for a relationship now um first things first uh actually so we're going to cover a couple of reasons and then we're going to look at some solutions but first things first we need to understand what this means so leading with your wallet means that you are presenting uh, your money or material possessions up front. So just to clarify, um, this does work if you're looking for one night stand. You know, um, I, I mean, when you're looking for one night stand, you don't really matter. Like it doesn't matter if the girl is materialistic, what the girl is into. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you're all about just you know getting laid that night. It doesn't matter. But for a relationship, which is what we're focusing on today. Um, it does matter. So I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why you shouldn't, and then we look at some solutions. So the first reason is that uh, you're presenting yourself as a as a sugar daddy uh, or uh, a blesser instead of presenting yourself as a boyfriend, a potential boyfriend or a potential husband. Right now, what will happen when you do this is that you will attract girls who are materialistic, and these are gold diggers, and uh, that's not what you want. You know, I mean, you don't want that type of girl uh, as a potential, you know, long-term, a long-term partner or, or like a girl you're going to be in a relationship with. You don't want that, right? Now, I know some guys are going to argue and say, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I have a girl, I'm, I'm you know, uh, she's with me, she's, she's with me. Yeah, I get it, but you need to understand something. Like these girls, you need to understand that these girls are not into you. You need to understand that they're into your money. So with that, they're very easy to, lo to lose. So let's say you're going through a financial situation, a difficult financial situation. She would just, she would leave because of that. They just, they would just, she would just, she'll be out like that. Another thing is, those are the type of girls that will leave you for. Let's say a guy was making just as much as you, but has other qualities. She'll leave you for that. Or let's say she comes across a guy who's, Who's making more money than you? She'll leave you for that. You see what I'm saying? And now, and I, I know some guys might argue like, okay, but that can happen for other things as well. Well, I get it, but you need to understand that, like, it's much easier for you to actually go through financial difficulty than to actually sort of change your personality. You see what I'm saying? So let's say she's attracted to me, my personality, the way I move. Um, Maybe the way I think, it's, uh, um, see, in that case, it's much easier for her to leave me um, if I'm going through a financial situation than leave me uh, due to a change in my behavior or my way of thinking. Because that's, that's, see, that's unlikely. It does happen in some cases, but it's not as common. So, yeah. So, another reason is, so if you guys want to see Another reason is that, let's say you come across girls who are not materialistic, girls who are not gold diggers. Those are the type of girls you want, right? But then if you leave with your wallet, you're going to come across as insecure because those type of girls are going to feel like you're trying to compensate for something, you know, which is not a good image for you. So, you know, you don't want to do that. And, um, you know, you need to understand that not every girl is materialistic. I know... It might seem like it based on the media, based on Instagram, what you see around you. But not every girl is like that. So leading with that wallet is going to turn the girls that you actually want off. So, yeah. Now, now let's look at some solutions to this. So, like the main solution to this is um, I encourage every guy to actually develop um, the dating skills. So what do I mean by dating skills? I mean, I encourage every guy to work on to work on and develop their flirting skills and seduction skills. So these are the two important skills that every guy needs in the dating market. I feel like that's very important and you need to work on that as a guy. All right, now, another solution, this is for the guys who say, okay, I've tried that, but it doesn't work out for me. Or I've tried that, but I don't seem to have the personality for it. Or I've tried that and it's just... It's just not aligning with me. What can I do to actually not leave with my wallet or not get attract gold diggers? Now, another solution would be to 
um, to just socialize and interact with these girls uh, without mentioning any of your, uh, I can even say, I can push it and say your accomplishments. Like, don't mention that. Don't mention that. And, and most specifically, you shouldn't mention your money or your material possession, what you have. I know guys like to flex, like I just think it's, you know, it's it's giving them a good image. But no, it doesn't. We've just covered the reasons why. So that's the other solution to that. So yeah, um, hope you guys got that. Um, I want you guys to ask your questions. If you have any questions, ask me your questions. And uh, subscribe to get notified. I'll see you guys in the next video.